everyone, welcome to the channel, my name is Georgia and today I'm going to be watching episode 5 of season 2 of Euphoria. If you want access to the uncut reactions, the link to the Patreon page will be in the description below. So sadly I'm alone today because Emma is having a surgery so she probably won't be in the next couple Euphoria reactions. Fingers crossed she'll be back in time for the season finale because I feel like that would be really nice if we could go back to doing it together then but for now she won't be in the Euphoria reactions because of that. Last episode was basically a masterclass in cinematography and symbolism. There was so much going on there and the cinematographer did such a beautiful job with showing the characters inner emotions at the end and even that opening sequence with Rue and Jules in those different film settings was really great. Thank you to everyone in the last episode's comments who left their viewpoints on what everything was symbolising because this show does so well with metaphors and symbolism and stuff that a lot of it goes over my head all the time. I think it's really great that we have this space on the internet where everyone can share their opinions and it can broaden everyone else's perspective perspective it was really interesting reading through the comments of last episode so thank you to everyone who left their thoughts on that feel free to do it again this time i'm quite scared for what this episode is going to be because a lot of people were saying that apparently this is the most bonkers episode or the best episode of the season or something so yeah i don't know because i thought that rue might have overdosed after episode four because of the scene in the church and when she was hugging with her father it didn't paint like Rue was in a very good light at all. I mean obviously we know she's practically at rock bottom but seeing her dad and the white light and everything I thought oh my god she's overdosed. So I hope that isn't the case and she's still here with us. A lot of drama unfolded last episode as well. Some secrets came out. Cal came out to his family and left them behind. <laughs> that scene was way too funny for what it was and Jules slept with Elliot and she found out that Rue has still been using drugs so I hope that she does something with that information because Rue needs help. <laughs> oh good. Did Gia say something about this? You knew she was doing drugs. It's not like that. Okay, you know what? If you want to fucking consider smoking some weed to help with my fucking panic attacks doing drugs then yeah sure whatever I was doing fucking drugs. Who told her? Oh, did Jules tell her? I'm talking about opiates. Did she find the suitcase? When did you start doing pills? I didn't. Gia. I fucking didn't. I told you. Gia. I thought oh, it God. wasn't a good idea. Gia, please. Let me handle this. Let's fucking drug test me. I don't need to. Jules told me everything. <gasps> Jules did the right thing, though. Maybe not for their relationship, because Rue's going to be pissed. But in the long run, this is for the best. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Baby, it's gonna be okay. No, it's not gonna be fucking okay. No, no, fuck! It wasn't mine! Then whose is it? Oh my god, did she chuck them okay. away? Look, we can go to the hospital. Okay? Laurie's gonna I'm kill gonna her. Mom, Look, where did you put it? Mom, wait, Mom, I'm calling the police. No, you can't. You yes, can't do that. You, you will not attack me in my own house. I want your own home. You do not fucking scare me. She's wrong there. It scares her to death when she's doing drugs. Kind of keeps you from admitting what a shit fucking mother you are. <laughs> oh, poor Leslie. Her daughter's an addict, but you know, her dad did die. It might actually just be her fucking fault. Bruce. Yeah, that means maybe Stop! she actually fucked up. Okay, that's be enough. Fucking honest. Anytime you these me? three Don't are in a scene together, me. it's Shut like it. electric in terms of acting. Oh my god. She's gone off the deep end. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck else am I supposed to do, huh? Where did you fucking put them? Fuck, where'd you put them? I don't know if she's more worried about the suitcase because of Laurie or because she wants drugs. Because I feel like this whole time she hasn't been worried about paying it back and Laurie and everything. Maybe now. This will be the thing that helps her realise that she needs to stop because she's risking her life here. Laurie is dangerous. This is bad. This is really, really bad. I want to get clean. I can't do it. I just, I don't want to see her anymore. I'm so, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I, I just, I don't know what to do. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Gia. This is so sad. Oh my god. 
I need you to tell me where they are. I need you to tell me where the pills are, Mom. I need you to tell me where the suitcase is. She is such a good actress. I can never get over it. Oh. What did you do with them? You flushed them down the toilet. Jules is here. <gasps> oh shit. You embarrassed because Jules just heard everything you said. Wow. Elliot here's a fucking addict. So if he tells you anything fucking different, he's a liar and a fucking snake. Who cares about you? Oh, this doesn't fucking, fucking concern you, Jules. Yes, it does. Oh, fuck it does. Yes, it does. How? Because I don't want you to kill yourself. Yeah, so you gonna tell my fucking mom? I didn't know what I was What's gonna do. What's it gonna take for her to realize how deep she is in this hole? Because you were killing yourself, Rue. And they care about you. She's lucky she has people that care. You are fucking dead to me. You don't mean that. I fucking mean every fucking word. You know, I have a lot of regrets in my life. But I gotta tell you, Jules. <laughs> Meeting you has got to be at the top of my fucking list. Oh, she's in self-destruct mode now. She wants to hit everyone where it hurts. Just go around fucking sucking the fucking spirit out of everyone. Rude. You like Jules that gave shit. you life in you season one. You we only stayed sober because of her. True. You love her. It's all about fucking jewels, right? I love you. No, the fuck you don't. You love being loved. You're a fucking greedy whore. I love you. No, you don't. Stop saying that! You don't love me! You fucking left me when I fucking needed you. You fucking left me when I was at my fucking love. She didn't know you were at your lowest, though, you Rue. You left me at my fucking lowest! She's definitely at her lowest now, but Jules is still a teenager, too. They're all just trying to navigate life in their own messed up way. Uh, you should have, Eddie. You, that's the only bloody thing you've done right. I just missed out on <laughs> Me too, baby. Me too. I missed it more. I know. Me too. The range in emotions. Angry, sad, angry, sad. It's got, oh, she's portraying it so well. You want to know the truth? <laughs> I relapsed as soon as I got a rehab. My flaw with this show is how did no one notice? She is so obviously on it all the time. She constantly looks high. How did no one pick up on it? It's funny because if you guys didn't do this fucking intervention shit, I was about a month away from killing myself. <laughs> okay, baby, we're almost there. So emotionally unstable. Oh no, don't do this. You're telling me you're not home now? Every scene he's had this season, he's always just sitting at home. Where is he? Hey, Rue. Oh, hi. Oh, the gang's all here. Hey. Oh, oh, yeah. You look terrible. <laughs> I mean, really terrible. How's your mom? I was thinking about her the other Maybe day. Maybe you should give her a ring. How's your sister? Yeah, good. You staying clean? Uh-huh. Yeah? This can't make you feel good about yourself. I don't care. Just fucking leave me alone, please. Just Take it one day at a time. Oh. I have a quick question for you. What? How long have you been fucking Nate Jacobs? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! She did not just do that! She's been so out of it, and yet she picks up on these things. Oh my god, and Maddie is there! Oh my god! I don't even want to press play, I'm so scared for what's going to happen. But to be honest, I think it's good that these secrets are coming out now, because these secrets need to come out in order for these people to heal themselves, because obviously Cassie has been a freaking mess, and Maddie may, Maddie may do whatever to her, but... 
her lusty after Nate like this is doing her more harm than Maddie could ever do to her. <laughs> what, 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 what are you talking about? How long have you been fucking me? I saw her get in his truck and then kiss him and drive off. That one like, time. Uh, oh my god, she remembered uh, that. Cass, that's like really bad. <laughs> no, I don't. Let's table this conversation. Okay, no. Go. Why are you upset me? <laughs> no. My best friend has been lying to me about fucking my ex boyfriend. I'm yeah. okay. literally gonna get violent. No, you're fucking crying, Maddie. You fucking bitch. She's you're been crying the whole season, Maddie. Oh, Self centered, idiotic person I have ever fucking met you fuck my ex and you're fucking crying right after new year's <sighs> you dumb fucking bitch i'm gonna no. fuck you oh, fucking run away from me you stupid oh man. shit that's the showdown i've been waiting for but for now i'm more invested in rue <laughs> Ru? oh my god how is she so fast what's up kid oh okay it's like shit yeah i fucking feel like shit he won't give her any drugs. Oh, I need something. Yo, come on now, Ru. Are you serious? Good, please. She won't even know that they're gone. She won't miss them. Principal Ru. That's that's rude, Ru. It's not right. Fuck out the house now. Oh no. If you kick her out, she's gonna go somewhere else though. You're making my anxiety peak in this episode. What was that? I said I'm headed. <laughs> Were they suspicious of her because she was being sick? Or was it just because she... Why is Rue suddenly in GTA 5? What is this? That was really cool. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Maybe other people are going to die though, Rue. Oh my god. <laughs> if she goes missing and they put up a post saying who's seen this girl, the whole freaking neighbourhood's going to be responding to it at this point. She actually went there herself. Rue! I'm so happy to see you. I didn't even know it was addictive until I ran out. And that's when I learned I would do anything to avoid withdrawal. Because it's hell. How much have you been doing? 40 mil. You know, I that was nice that she told her that, but something tells me that she's going to put her through penal hell. hell. Listen, I appreciate you coming here with all this jewelry and stuff, but you're gonna have to pay the whole thing in cash. This isn't a pawn shop. This is going better than I thought it would, to be honest. It's one of the good parts of being a woman. Even if you don't have money, you've still got something people want. Don't suggest she do that, please. She's trying to get her to go down that road now. She has this really calm demeanour and she comes across as nice, but really, she could be the most evil of all. I'll take anything that you have. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Okay, I'm gonna need you to be yeah, still. No. Oh my god, don't. <laughs> Hold it steady, Rue. I know, I'm trying, I'm sorry. Oh, I can't, I can't watch this. Injections I'm fine with, but blood tests and stuff that goes in there. You know what's funny? Oh, I can't deal with it. When I first saw you, I thought, this girl's going to be in my life for a long time. Oh my god, it's showing her veins going red. Oh. For reference, I faint every time I have a blood test because I can't do it. Oh. <laughs> It's a sad transition. You'll be with me forever. I miss you, Dad. 
I miss you until I close my eyes. That's it. Can't even imagine having to give a speech like that so young. Thank God she made it out of that situation. I can't believe she put herself in that. Rue? Safe to say Zendaya has secured herself another Emmy. Here I was this whole season thinking that Sydney Sweeney would probably get it this year. She deserves it as well though. I would be happy if either of them won it, but I think Zendaya has probably just given the best performance of her life. I'm really glad we got a Rue-centric episode because I had been thinking this season so far that we hadn't been getting as much of Rue as we did last season. And I feel like she's in an even worse place now so we kind of needed this focus on her because when she's more of a side character in the story and you're not getting the full picture of her life it's easier to be annoyed at her actions because we're focusing on other characters at the same time yet with episodes like this when you see a whole day in her life and the withdrawal symptoms that she is struggling with, the amount of emotional distress that she is under and has to go through because of the withdrawal and because of the drugs. It really puts into perspective why she does the things that she does and why she lashes out. Like that opening scene especially, she was lashing out, then feeling instant regret, then lashing out again and then feeling like she wanted to die. There's so much that addicts have to go through. Personally, I forget about the withdrawal side of things a lot. Like I think, oh, just stop using, just get clean. But it's not that easy. There's so, the withdrawal symptoms are the worst part of it. And I overlooked that a lot because thankfully I don't know any drug addicts and I, I've never touched this stuff myself. So um, this is a world far from my own. And I think episodes like this that really portray what they have to go through in a day is really important for people that you know, they don't know this stuff or they don't see this stuff in their daily life. Um, and I feel really bad for her, the poor girl. I mean, <laughs> such a hard life. Thankfully, she has people that love her and are there for her because all these people that were there, Gia, her mum, Elliot, Jules, the only reason they were doing that intervention was because they care about her. Elliot only told Jules because he was worried, like they were drug buddies before, but then after seeing her in that car when she was doing alcohol as well and stuff, even he got worried, even though he didn't know about her whole prior history. And then Jules told her mum because she was really worried about her and she doesn't want her to die and that is where she's heading like Rue said herself I was only a month away from killing myself so she's really hit rock bottom now and when you hit rock bottom the only way you can go is up hopefully I really hope that's the case for Rue she went to Laurie herself oh my god I thought she was going to avoid her the whole time I was worried that Laurie was going to catch her somewhere she went there herself she was that desperate for drugs, she went to the person that she should be running away from, who she needs to pay back. And Laurie, oh my god, the actress that plays her is incredible as well because she has this really calm demeanour and she's really scary. Like, you feel at home with her and you feel like, oh okay, this is alright. I was, like I said, this is going better than I thought it would because she's so calm and she's like, she acted like she was on Rue's side. But now she's got her hooked onto IV drugs. And uh, worst thing about this episode was that they lingered on that morphine shot for way too long. <laughs> oh, that made me feel physically sick. But it was cool the way that it showed her veins going red, like it literally showed it going into her veins. Cool, but gross. Yeah, this was definitely the best episode of season two so far. I had been thinking that season two hasn't been as strong as season one, personally. But I still think the show is exceptional and the characters are great. They're all so flawed in their own way, but they're all just so interesting. And there is always a reason behind their actions because of stuff that happened prior to the show and their upbringing and stuff. And that's why the backstories were so important in season one, because it really explains why all these characters do what they do today. I'm really excited next episode to see the fallout of Nate, Cassie and Maddie. Uh, that was a really good scene, but I was trying, I was focusing more on the Rue 
uh, aspect of that scene. That obviously was, you know, iconic, the way Rue just said, how long have you been fucking Nate Jacobs when Cassie was giving her words of encouragement? That was hilarious, but like, yeah, Rue's story was definitely the centre of this episode and I think that's what should have been focused on. But I am excited to see the fallout of that and I want to see Nate get his ass kicked by Maddie. Let me know what you thought of this episode in the comments. If you want access to the uncut reactions, the link to the Patreon page will be in the description below if you want to watch the episodes along with me. Leave a like if you enjoyed and I'll see you next time for episode 6.